All right, and, and I couldn't think of a worse but yet great segue than speaking about air quality. It's a different kind surrounding the corpse flower that is in Dexter that we have been watching. It is officially blooming. I love the time lapse, right? Started opening up yesterday, moving rather quickly. Paula Tutman brought us the story. Uh, she is there now. Oh, it was closed up a little bit at night. This is really amazing, Paula. Fill us in on everything that's going on and actually how it smells. <laughs> Well, okay, so start with, you talk about air quality. Uh, and probably in about five minutes, this wig is gonna turn into an afro. It's that humid in here, and we're kind of dodging flies because they think there's something in here to, you know, eat or sit on or whatever it is that flies do. Of course, we all know Barbie and Kevin Hauser, who've been so lovely to open up their home to not only the public, but to our cameras, because so many people have been watching us. I think I, I heard a number that last night there were 20,000 people watching as this opened up. And at least those weren't people tr tracking through your home. So we want to thank you for, for allowing us to put our camera here to actually watch this because it really has been incredible. And so let's talk about what happened. It opened up pretty fast and then it just started zooming through it and it, it peaked and is on its way out. So Kevin has been babying this thing for nearly seven years and the experts have actually been coming here to talk to him. So just talk about what we're looking at what happened and what this has been like for you. Yeah, so um, normally the, the plant will uh, bloom at night. And so we were expecting that we had, you know, several hours or even days. Um, I'm on my way to a dentist appointment yesterday and I come and check on it and she started to open. So by the time I got home an hour later, she had opened up, you know, several inches at the top. But this is this part here of the plant is the, uh, the spathe. That's the spadix up there, and, and last night at about midnight, it had fully separated and was sagging down. Um, the, the odor started to develop pretty much right away, but just, uh, just as we thought it had peaked at about dinner time, it just got worse and worse, and by the time we went to bed, we basically had to tape up this conservatory. No kidding. Doors. Yeah. The, uh, the funniest thing that happened, though, was uh, there were actually uh, eight or ten uh, turkey vultures outside the house. I was hoping you were going to tell the story. Swirling around the, uh, the roof of the house because they could, uh, you know, it's not just the pollinators uh, that were attracted. It was, uh, you know, obviously these, uh, these uh, vultures. It was pretty crazy. It's such a beautiful flower. People are fascinated by the smell. So Barbie, so you're showing us the, the uh, breathing protection for your family. So talk about what it was like last night because you said it, it really did get fairly unbearable. It was, yeah. Around, around midnight, we came in, and we had I had one of these on, and it did nothing for the smell. It was still atrocious. Yeah, it was more than we anticipated. Yeah, but that that's also part of the fascination. And uh, and we're going to show you video, by the way, because Kevin and I have been uh, my new best friend over here. We've been in constant contact with one another. And I said, turkey vultures, grab video. And the video is really hilarious. So we're going to show you that at 4 o'clock because you can actually see them circling the house as if it's a carcass. Was that scary for you and the kids? It was, it was fascinating, actually, to watch them uh, just confused and swirling around, swooping the house. They went out to the marsh. They were just looking for that carcass, and they couldn't find it. So, Because <laughs> it was in a conservatory. You've been working on this for so many years, and it has to be an emotional high as well as bittersweet and a, and a bit of an emotional low because this goes... It, 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 comes fast when it comes and then it goes. Yeah, it's, um, it, it's pretty magical actually to think that this plant has spent seven years dedicating itself just to this one moment, this 24 hours of time, and now she's gonna go and sleep for you know, months and months. Um, so you know, from that uh, aspect, it's, it, you know, it's pretty touching. <laughs> I mean, I guess if you can say that about a plant. Sure you can. But um, you know, we're, we're looking forward to the next leaf uh, cycle where uh, it'll be even bigger and more impressive than the last one. So. Well, it, it is pretty impressive. And uh, Kirstie, I want to tell you, so uh, scientists have been um, using Kevin as a citizen scientist. He's been taking samples, had some students from MSU's horticulture department, and they actually have a stink scale. 
And what, what they say is, so a one being uh, the least, which is right now, smells like, oh my goodness, I think there's a mouse that might be dead in my house somewhere. Where might that be? And then the five would be, uh, oh, oh my gosh, I just drove by uh, roadkill with my windows down. And 10 is a whole pile of deer <laughs> rotting in the hot sun. And that is, they're scientists, and that is how they describe their stink scale. Right now, I think we're probably right at about maybe mouse or two, or maybe steak left out on the counter. It's, I mean, it's dissipating pretty quickly, but we know the smell is part of the appeal. Humans, we're such interesting people. But certainly the beautiful flower as well. So this has been a lot of fun. Thank you guys for letting the world into your beautiful home to see this amazing plant. You've been such a wonderful steward and expert. We really appreciate it. Thank you so very much. Christy, here we go. There it is. Corpsey has bloomed and is about to leave the building. It's been amazing to watch. And again, thanks so much to Kevin and Barbie. I'm going to be using the stink scale from now on to, uh, to right? compare things. Yeah, we really appreciate this. has been a marvel to be able to watch. So thanks very much. All right, Paula, we'll see you at 4 o'clock today.